So before you even decide what you're going to pick up from the store, you're going to want to doodle out a few designs that you might want for your earrings. Um, I would say try to keep it simple and try to do things that are flat just to make it easy on yourself. And these are all the designs I came up with. So I've got scrambled egg, a clown cat, some ghosts, oranges, just things like that. And it doesn't mean you have to make every single earring on this list, but it's just a good idea to have like some concepts. You're gonna need a jewelry making kit with uh, earring backings and little metal hoops, um, a pair of little wire cutter pliers. These are just extra earring backings that came with my little kit. You're gonna want clay. This is like Fimo clay kind of. You're gonna want acrylic paint and then some type of varnish. I only have Mod Podge. I would recommend something a little bit more heavy duty, but these are just for friends. I'm not really making these for a commercial selling um so they don't have to be perfect but i would get something a little more scratch resistant and the clay that i'm actually going to use today for these earrings is super sculpy and it's the beige translucent version so you do have to warm it up a little bit this is called conditioning it takes a little bit to actually soften the clay um but yeah just hang in there and get your hand workout in for the day you can also heat it up in the microwave for like a second if you want but you obviously have to be careful that you don't cure the clay and then go ahead and make your design there you go so i'm gonna do the clouds the little frog faces i definitely wanted to do um like some oranges because that's just been like a theme that I'm really into and then some scrambled egg designs just because um, definitely going for like a Mrs. Frizzle kind of idea here. So once you have sculpted out your pieces, you wanna make sure they're not too thick. They probably need to be about as thick as they are here. Um, anything thicker than an inch is not gonna cure like properly I mean maybe if you bake it for a really long time but I don't like to bake my things for a really it just messes it up the color gets all weird and funky I usually only bake my clay for about 15 to 20 minutes max um, and that's gonna change depending on how thick the clay is and also the type of clay that you're using you could use air bake if you wanted to I just take forever and ever and ever when I'm sculpting things and I like to have a lot of time and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and sand down any little pieces that are sharp or jagged or uneven. Um, I would recommend actually getting sandpaper for this, but I just decided to use an emery board because I didn't need to do anything that significant. And an emery board basically is just sandpaper, so it's just a little bit smaller. And this is all I could get my hands on at the store. I should have picked this, I should have picked up sandpaper at the craft store, but they were all out, which was really weird. Um, and then I just didn't have time to go to a hardware store or anything. So I bought a pack of cheap $1 emery boards and honestly it did the trick. Again, I think I would rather just get sandpaper. Also in the background, if you hear explosions, uh, a little someone is playing video games. So I hope that doesn't get too distracting. It is cityscapes, I believe, if you want to know. But yeah, I just go along the edges and smooth everything out so the paint's going to lay flat. Um, this is, you want to make sure that in the sculpting phase that you are smoothing, smoothing, blah, 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 I can't talk, smoothing things out nicely so you don't have to spend forever and ever and ever sanding everything down. And actually sometimes, especially for the scrambled eggs, I do like the like handmade quality of them. So you can kind of see my fingerprint indents on little bits and pieces. And I really like the way that looks. Um, I'm gonna have you look up Juno Birch as a, um, well, maybe I'll pop some pictures up here too. I don't know, I just really like Juno Birch's aesthetic. She's really cool. I like all of her art. Um, and she does all of these really amazing sculptures. And even though they're really well done and the color, the colors are like fantastically chosen I don't she has a really good eye for color um I like that they still look handmade like there's still like a handmade quality to them so that's something I really like and really would strive for in all of my own projects anyway basically I'm just gonna go over every single piece in acrylic white paint to get a really nice opaque layer as a base color uh, it just makes everything easier later on to just paint over white instead of the translucent like beige color so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then after I have all of the 
white acrylic paint done, I decided to start on the egg yolk and I just wanted to make it a regular yellow egg yolk. At some point I'm definitely going to do like different versions of the fried egg earring idea, but this one I just want to look like a regular fried egg, you know, uh, make it easy, make it easy to read. Um, yeah, I think it's really cute. I think it's really weird. Again, definitely like kind of Miss Frizzle-esque, I would say. And then I thought it would be cute if the background was like a light cloudy blue and I almost painted clouds on the back but then I thought that would be too much but I might do it later honestly just because I thought that might be cute. And yeah so I just did that and painted the back for a while. And then on to the frogs. I will say just in case you're wondering this acrylic paint does dry really really fast if you are painting in thin layers which I would recommend if you don't want really crazy brush strokes to be apparent on your pieces try to paint in like smaller um, layers of paint if you want things to just dry evenly and be dispersed evenly but i would say honestly every coat of paint would dry in about a minute um yeah again i like that painterly style kind of makes me think a little bit of animal crossing and like the lackadaisical nature um and then when I had a good enough coat of green, I went on and put the little frog mouth on. I wanted these frogs to look a little happier than my my doodles of the frogs. They looked so sad. I don't know why my doodles were like frowning. I didn't want. I don't want to wear frowning frog earrings. That's like sad. I would recommend maybe getting a slightly nicer paintbrush. Mine are just kind of cheap dollar store paintbrushes, but they do the trick just fine. And then I decided to make the clouds just like a regular, almost baby blue, a little bit deeper than baby blue. And I still wanted to keep that painterly texture, so I made sure to kind of mix in some white here and there. And I just did the faces off camera because it was such small little fine details that would have been kind of annoying to watch me like fiddle with it on camera. And then the last ones, um, I was gonna make oranges, but I didn't have any red paint. So I wasn't really able to make oranges, but I figured I would just do um, pink lemons or grapefruit, I guess. Um, but they're cute too. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you've seen me paint oranges and lemons like a million times already. It's kind of like a motif that I keep doing and honestly it's exactly the same as it is here. Um, so you can keep watching, I guess. I don't really know. I can't, I've voiced this over so many times. Go watch literally any other video. I probably painted a lemon or an orange or something if you need help painting an orange or a lemon. Uh, otherwise, I'll just kind of let you soak it all in. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, and then once you have everything painted the way you want, you've done the backs, go ahead and throw on that varnish. Again, I'm using Mod Podge. There are different versions of Mod Podge too, so I don't want to just throw all versions under the bus. I just, I don't think the kind that I'm using is necessarily, if I was going to sell products, I would not use this kind. I would probably use a much nicer varnish. And there's, I mean, just go to your local craft store. There's literally anything you could ever want. If you wanted a matte finish, they have matte finishes, they have glossy finishes, they have soft touch finishes, they have satin finishes, all sorts of different finishes. And honestly, the differences are not gonna show up very nice on camera. And then honestly, this is the most stressful part of the whole process is putting on the earring backings. So you're gonna want to take the little loop, you undo it with your pliers, and you poke it on through the hole. I should have mentioned that earlier. You gotta make sure you have um, holes for the little loop-de-loops -loop to go through and you want to make sure they're close enough up to the top that you have enough wire to actually fit around the hole if that makes sense if I had made this hole any lower I would have needed a bigger ring um, and you can get rings in all sorts of different sizes so it's it's not a big deal if you need to use a different size but obviously if you get a kit that only comes with one size ring it's not gonna work And here I am wearing my egg earrings. I think these are honestly my favorite one out of the whole batch of earrings that I made today. I just like them a lot. I think they're really fun. I think they'd be 
really fun to wear in like a classroom or something, especially if you were like, I don't know, teaching class about cooking or something. Here are the cloud ones. I like the little frowny faces, but I think I should put either the frowny face on both sides or maybe have it be totally blank. I don't know if I love the frowny face because they're kind of cute just as cloud earrings. I don't know, what do you think? I think I like, I don't know, they're cute. And then here are the citrus fruit earrings. With this filter, obviously they look more like oranges, which is kind of what I wanted. And I will make myself a pair of orange earrings later. Um, yeah, I think these are really cute too. And then I didn't get a video of me in my frog earrings, which I don't know why, but here's a picture. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 